in most podcast services, they only keep the most recent 300 shows in the feed. As such, try going to the link that I'll have here for the original No BS Job Search Advice Radio. All the shows that I've had prior to October 2020, when I transferred them over to Anchor, and you'll find a ton of great material. After all, I've done over 2,100 shows. There's 300 in the feed, and uh, I'm doing five a week, so you can do the math. You know, I've got uh, a number of shows in this feed for Anchor, and on Anchor in this other feed, you'll see all the others. So I hope you find it helpful. And besides, you know, it's going to help you get a job faster so you don't have to listen to my voice all the time. This is No BS Job Search Advice Radio, episode 2181. I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. I like to spend some time five days a week talking with you about some element of job search, maybe responding to questions as I do today and as I do on Career Coach Office Hours Friday that I do as a live stream on LinkedIn, YouTube, and Facebook. So I do that at 9 a.m. Eastern, uh, where I answer questions from people that I haven't had a chance to get to. And if you have a question for me, you can always email it to me at thebiggamehunter at gmail.com. In the subject line, put the expression career coach office hours or office hours so I know what it's about. And, (coughs) excuse me, today's show I answer a question from someone who's been waiting four months for feedback. You know what's going on. They don't like it. Hope you enjoy the show. Hope you find it helpful. And we'll be back in just one moment. Support for today's show comes from Skillshare.com. Now, Skillshare is a site where they have thousands of courses and lots and lots of course instructors to help you not just simply professionally, but personally as well. I know I have a number of my classes there and it's one price per month and it's unlimited access to content. And they give you a seven-day free trial. So you can take all my classes that way. And if you decide not to renew, okay, you decided not to renew, I'm fine with that. But I'm just simply saying it's a place where you can learn and grow and not have to worry about spending hundreds of dollars for courses like so many instructors make you do. Again, Use the link in the show notes, get a seven-day free trial. It will make a difference in your job search and so much more. And we'll be back in just one moment. And uh, the question for today is, well, this is one of those tough interview questions. And it is, do you have any other offers? And I think this is a wonderful question. A common scenario that comes up as an interviewee where You're asked about this, and let me pose the different situations. You're on the screening call, and, uh, you know, whether you've done well or not, the screener, the HR recruiter who's screening you over the phone or video, says, so do you have any other offers right now? And what they're trying to find out is, do we have time to engage in our process, or are you pretty much done? I can understand why they want to know this, because when I did recruiting, I want to know if I put in effort, whether I had a chance of earning a commission or hiring a person. So if you're actually close to something, you have a choice at this point. And that's to say, you know, I am close to something else, but I don't have the offer yet. And um, what's your process look like? Can you give me a sense of the projected timeline here? And what you're able to do is, you know, walk through with them what their next steps would be and how long it might take, knowing that it could elongate. And then after you hear it, you can say, you know, my commitment to you is that if this process starts and I do receive an offer, I'll let you know and make a decision as to whether or not we should go further. Is that okay with you? And if they say, no, then this was doomed from the very beginning. So you follow that situation. We're close, We're at the beginning of the screening process. Now let's go to the other end. You're on a third interview, a fourth interview, what have you. Do you have any other offers? Are there any competing offers right now? What they're trying to do is to figure out how much time they have to still continue to interview, whether or not they risk losing you, 
And you notice it's the same logic system, but you're further in the process. You may say, I'm close to something else, or yeah, I do have another offer. How much is it for? You can tell them or not. I don't think that's really relevant right now. I'm really interested in this opportunity. I'm just going to simply say, if you decide I'm the right person for you, and Lord knows this seems like a great opportunity for me, I'm going to encourage you to make your strongest offer. Now, they're going to follow up by saying, well, why don't you just accept the other offer? And so you have to come back with something positive about theirs and act it in a theatrical way to make it seem like you're really excited about theirs, because otherwise they'll simply say, okay, bye, and send you off on your way. On your side of this, you want to make sure that you're hearing about other offers, particularly if you're interested in this one and in the other one, so that in this way you have choices to make, and that becomes a separate conversation. So how do you do it? Depends on where you are in the process, what your expectations are. The one thing I will say is most of you are not smooth enough to lie, and at interview one or nine, <laughs> say to someone, well, I've got another offer from a firm when you don't, because if you hear those questions I asked earlier, you're not going to be savvy enough for how to respond to that situation to be convincing at which place they can go, okay, just take the other offer, no problem. But, 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 but. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few things I can do to help you with your job search beyond simply being your coach. First of all, I've got a new book out called The Right Answers to Tough Interview Questions. It is like a cookbook with answers to tons of interview questions that you're going to be asked on interviews. And if you pair it up with my other new book, The Ultimate Job Interview Framework, they are a, a terrific pair of books to help you with interviewing. In addition to a new service where you can practice mock interviews, if you go to TheBigGameHunter.us forward slash mock, I've got a service there, very inexpensive, like $99, where we have mock interviews set up. I'm going to be adding more to it very soon, but you can record your answers to them and then I can critique them and help you perform better on them. You probably have noticed my show notes are pretty thorough with products and services that can help you with your search and connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash in forward slash the big game hunter. Lastly, my website has a ton of great information. That's TheBigGameHunter.us. Now, if you're not ready to go there and go through the blog, put the address in your phone, TheBigGameHunter.us, Jeff Altman. So this way, when you're ready to go, you have a way of getting back to my website. Hope you have a terrific day. And most importantly, be great!